on the road again. Here's an obligatory reference to Carol. What's up, guys? This is Eddie from Ghetto Blaster. I'm here with Chesky Ramos, who's in Phoenix to perform at Gnome Publishing, and he has a new album out. It's called. It's called Broken Bone Ballads. The official release date is April 7th, actually. But I'm touring on it. I've been touring on it since uh, for it since May 12th, March 12th. March 12th. Okay. Yeah. It was actually supposed to come out sooner. Than it was. Yeah. It got pushed back a few times, like it always does. All right. In, in our industry. Okay. So now, <laughs> now, now you're touring based off this album for how long? I'll be on the road this time till with the same tour till basically June. Okay. Um, just little slight shifts in who's accompanying me and opening up for me. Okay. But uh, I, I get, I do the entire United States and then go to Scandinavia and the Baltics. Okay. And okay. Germany as well. All right, and you're on tour with Factor and who else? Tommy V, who was, uh, he was a member of my band Doka. Okay. And we were living in LA. Uh, we released a record in 2007 and we sort of disbanded um, but he's doing more solo material now. He's okay. on the road with us. And then my buddy Jose Oyola, is, uh, he's from an indie rock band out of New Haven. Okay. Um, he's on the road with us right now, too. Okay. Now, your Broken Bones Ballads, Broken Bone Ballads, mm -hmm. actually, it's, it's been a while since you released uh, the One Man Band. Yes, uh, five years. Yeah, since the One Man Band broke up. Uh, so how does this record differ from that one? It's a lot more straightforward as far as content, like there's no characters, it's just autobiographical songs essentially about the years before I went to prison and I was going through court dates and after, there are songs that are, are written after prison and about that experience and then there's also songs about just loss of, you know, loved ones, and you know, it's 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 it spans a long time of you know, a good five six years of my life, so it's very autobiographical. And in that sense, it's different than a one man band because the one man band was more story based, uh, sometimes fictionalized or exaggerated, but still based in reality. Right. You know. Yeah, because yeah, I I know on on uh, a couple of tracks. But one in particular where you talk about, you know, like, uh, hope you don't have to punch someone in order to get clean, taking a shower. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so and I that's mean, a folk song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, that, and that's another thing, because it's like, you know, although you do the hip hop thing, you know, you do the folk thing as well. I mean, do you find it weird trying to combine the two, or does it really matter anymore? Yeah, I just, I, I'm a songwriter, you know. Okay. They're, they're just like tools I use to relay a message. You know, that's the only way I think of it. I, it's natural for me to, to do both at this point. Okay. You know, I think, I think it flows pretty well as an album, even though it jumps genres a bit. Uh, I can't explain it, you know, just certain things I want to say with certain styles of music. Right. How did Factor come in? To helping you realize those tracks, uh, he he's hugely important for the record. He not only made all of the hip hop bass beats, he mixed the entire album. And a lot of people don't okay. realize how important mixing is to a record. He really changed the the sonic quality of the whole record and blended it together in a way that it wouldn't have sounded right otherwise. And um, he also, you know, there's folk songs or guitar-based songs that he just embellished upon. Right. And um, it was almost like doing a band project because he would take the drum, um, he would be essentially like the drummer of the band and also um, almost like the conductor as far as like what he chose to bring out in a mix or what he chose, to, you know? Right. Like we had a lot of um, musicians playing on it, but he made the final decisions in the end with the sonic qualities of the record. Okay, so so. It, it, he's very important. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, I know you're tired. 
Let's make this quick. Let's wrap it up. What's next for you like uh, after this album, after this tour? Have you looked further ahead into the future? Yeah, I did a. Speaking of like folk stuff, I did a whole acoustic project that has. Um, it's a split with my boy um, Pat the Bunny. He's a Tucson-based folk punk singer. Uh, that's what most people would call him from a band called Ramshackle Glory. Okay. And that's coming out on a on a punk label called DIY Bandits, who also does a lot of hip hop stuff. Okay. So that's gonna be a it's like a twelve inch release. So it's got like, you know, accordions and and strings and it's they're basically all of our recordings are just live guitar and vocal recordings, and we just had friends come in and embellish upon that. Okay. There's banjo and accordion and strings, and, and I'm really proud of it. You know that's done. That's got sent to mastering awesome. and that should be out I would guess early fall. Okay. As well. So that's the next All thing. Alright man. That's, and that's I'm awesome. just touring like crazy. That's awesome because we were actually talking about how you know it would be nice to hear you just doing that. Yeah. Just talking about that. Literally just in the car. Anyway <laughs> we'll end it there. This is Eddie from Ghetto Blaster. I'm here with Chesky Ramos. Thank you. Peace. New album Sorry, new album, Broken, Broken Bone Ballads, Bell Ballads April, on April 7th, pick it up online, on iTunes, Fake Four. whatever you like to use. Fake4Inc.com. Yes. There you go. Thank you. Thank you.